do you know that god has not given authority of people's spirits to us listen to me i'm coming to tell you when we say when we say so winning what so winning means so winning is not saving people's spirits no you don't have that power you didn't die for them you are not the holy spirit to give birth to people's spirits every human being is a tripartite being he's a spirit he has a soul that dwells in a body and the soul of that person is the seat of his emotions and his thinking his thoughts and the bible says that receive with meekness the engrafted word of god which is able to save your soul so our message is a target to people's souls and the moment we capture their souls to receive the word the word by the spirit recreates their spirits and make them born again this is our assignment to shift people's thinking pattern shift people's emotions to focus on jesus and what he did for him or her when you do that you have won a soul a soul can come to church but we have not won him if he came to church and we left with thinking about breakthrough if you if i meet you to preach to you and all i tell you makes you begin to desire emotions arise affections arise for things either than christ have not won a soul because he will still be in church but his emotion and his affection is still connected to things outside christ second corinthians 10 4 for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but are mighty through god in the pulling down stronghold casting down imaginations another mindset and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of god another mindset and bringing can we all read the last part once you go and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of christ so our job is to make sure that everybody's thought is in subject to christ that's our job that by the time i'm through with you all you think about is jesus by that have won a soul and, and the holy spirit will take care of the rest listen look at how the devil works matthew 16 26 what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul and what shall a man exchange for his soul that means that the devil's strategy is he doesn't mind giving you the whole world so he gains control of your emotions and affections he gains control of the way you think because what you think will determine the things you do so we are in battle with the enemy over the souls of people that is why we must be careful what we preach look at how the devil works he took jesus to a high mountain and this is how he did it he first showed jesus all the kingdoms of this world and his glory what was he doing he was working on the soul of jesus now begin to like glories like the kingdom like the luxury and the glamour of this world and after that he came and said bow to me why what the devil does is that he first projects things things that appeal to the soul who doesn't want to have the hope that very soon you will get a breakthrough so when you are dealing with the devil he shows you things and that is what you see you don't see personality you see things and when the things appeal to your soul and you start running after the things then eventually you come later to realize that there was a personality behind the things so by the time you realize you will be worshiping a personality by chasing the things and this is how god too has done his own he has also presented a personality and has hidden the things behind the personality seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness and all other things he that spared not his son but gave his son out how much will he not give us all things freely so he presents the personality of his son as many as receive him then when you receive the personality of his son and gain access into his son that is where you realize that he has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places by christ jesus so the things is inside christ and god present a person called christ the devil present the things and behind the things is him you have not won a soul until you get to a place where that soul his mind his affection is all on jesus that's why paul will say look unto jesus and the look there means turn away from everything and focus on christ he knew that he has given records and accounts of the fathers of faith in chapter 11 but he still tells them turn away from everything and look unto only jesus that is where 
the glory is and we have not won a soul until we have gotten somebody who sleeps thinking about jesus the the word of god is so clear on that he says that bringing every thought to the captivity of christ bringing every thought that is where souls are won i pray for every soul here may your focus and your thoughts be captivated in christ jesus i pray for you that any high thing that rises against the knowledge of god in your heart i rebuke that high thing 